Why should Labour then get to benefit? Why should Labour get to benefit from this uh, from from policies it endorsed? Well, absolutely. And, and I do think there are many millions of people in this country and in other countries that are wondering genuinely who to vote for because they don't want to vote for the, the sitting party, the Conservatives, who have not behaved like Conservatives. They, they have behaved more like well, just you know, certainly Labour, I would say socialism, essentially. They don't want to vote for Labour because, as you say, they feel that they would have done a worse job even. Um, so where is where is the, the opposition that says, no, we need to have proper government, we need to, to look at the numbers, we need to have a, a long-term plan and not just think, oh, there's a bit of a problem here, we must lock down and we, we must not listen to any other possible view on this, however uh, scientific, however financially and, uh, and economically sound that might be. Is it all just too, too wrecked now? I, I had an email uh, this morning from someone who's finally been given an appointment with the NHS, uh, something she's been waiting for for two years. She's got an appointment for May next year. I mean, this is, yeah. is, everything, is everything too wrecked for these guys to be able to put it back together again? Well, you know, I mean, I hate to sound uh, pessimistic, but it does it does rather feel like that. Um, certainly what, what we've got, I think, here is is a situation where from 2008, when we had, you know, the financial crash, um, our mm. bank and other social banks responded by printing money and they continued to print mm. money from 2008 to 2020. They continued to print money. It basically went into the banks. The banks uh, said, thank you very much, we'll have that. They put it um, into lending, house prices went up. 2020 came, lockdown, and money printing went on to steroids. Uh, you know, for, the, for 2020 up, to, up until the end of last year, absolutely horrendous in this country and even worse in America and, and certainly printing around other countries. And that money went into the, the public. It, it was used for furlough big time, business loans, all sorts of stuff, which meant that the money went into that, the, the actual e economy here. So that has really pushed prices up. Um, so that means that we've got rising price. I mean, this is one of the, one of the reasons, probably the main reason, I think, why we have rising prices. There are other reasons. Obviously, Ukraine hasn't helped, um, supply chains, etc. But that's a big reason. Um, but yes, I think what we also had with lockdown was too long for quite a lot of people to, to sit around being paid to do nothing. And that has psychologically, culturally, that has changed things both in this country and in other Western countries that also had furlough. Um, it's been, a lot of people have just simply stopped working. They've taken early retirement. Um, some people have gone to the, home to their own country. Um, some people have thought, well, I don't want to do this job anyway. I'll go and do something else. Many people have said, I don't want to go back to the office. I rather like it at home. It's quite nice to working in my pajamas, you know. So we, we've got, I think, a, a problem, as I say, culturally, um, socially, when it comes to actual workers, um, because we had this huge, far too long hiatus over 2020, 2021.